everybody. Let me introduce you the lecture on the use of nuclear medicine in our modern life. My name is Dr. Vera Verkhatorova and I am the director of research and training center for international nuclear education of Tomsk Polytechnic University. So nowadays when we hear the word nuclear, there is a huge scare that it could be very dangerous for our health because radiation, etc. But in fact, you see that nowadays it is impossible or very often is impossible to treat and cure, cure very diff different diseases without the use of radiation. And nuclear medicine proves this fact. So if you want to do the diagnostics or the treatment of one of the most dangerous and worldly uh, spread disease such as cancer, all types of cancer, you have to use nuclear and radiation technologies. So for example, the production of medical isotopes for diagnostic and treatment is impossible to be done without the use of nuclear and radiation technologies. So here on the slide you can see the examples of the use of our, the uh, medical isotopes produced at nuclear facilities for diagnostics and as you see are every year more than 40 million procedures in nuclear medicine are done, uh, diagnostic procedures are done with the use of nuclear technologies. Uh, the most popular radio pharmaceutical that is used for diagnostic is Technetium-99. Uh, it is half-life of six hours isotope and this isotope gives to the patients a very low radiation dose. So it is not dangerous for the health and on the other hand it is very useful to do the diagnostic of different cancer diseases. Apart from the diagnostic, we can use medical isotopes produced at nuclear facilities and radiation facilities for the therapy to fight with cancer and to treat different cancer diseases. Here on the slide you can see the examples of the medical isotopes that are used to treat the cancer tumors and one of the most popular among them is Yodine 131. It is used in a small amount to treat cancer and other diseases affecting the thyroid gland. Our, if we think about the perspective of the development of nuclear medicine in the field of radio pharmaceuticals production, maybe the most perspective direction is a theranostics. It is not a secret that these procedures, diagnostic procedures and therapeutic procedures are very difficult and physically hard for our body. And, uh, especially if you're already faced with a surgery and after the surgery you have to have this our radiation therapy, it is just physically hard. If we use seronostic direction, it can seriously decrease the number of the procedures that the patient can are and has to go through. So Theranostic is a combination of therapeutic and diagnostic isotopes in a one substance. As a result, when it is sent to the human body, it works in two directions. It has diagnostic effect and then subsequently therapeutic effect. Our, in our university, uh, we use our nuclear and radiation facilities to develop all the directions of nuclear medicine because apart from medical isotopes production, our, we use radiation therapy and radiation diagnostic. Let's look at this slide. This slide describes our, our, our special proud, our nuclear research reactor. And as you see, there are different applications of this reactor and a, pa a part of this or among of these applications is the use of nuclear facility for medical isotopes production and for therapeutic neutron capture therapy. Uh, one more facility which is also used not to produce medical isotopes but to do medical treatment is named Betatrons. It is a small scale accelerator and the efficiency of the use of Betatrons to fight with cancer, to treat cancer diseases is extremely higher. So we use Betatrons for intraoperative radiation therapy and superficial radiation therapy. So here on the slide if you come back to the issue of medical isotopes production. Here on the slide you can see the examples of the production of so-called reactor isotopes in the first half of the slide and so-called accelerator-based isotopes and here you can see the example of the production of the isotopes at the base of our cyclotron, big scale accelerator. So very important fact is that 
uh, when we talk about reactor-based technology of medical isotopes production, you see that the final stage is named neoradiation waste. It is completely eco-friendly technology without any danger to the environment. Uh, when we come back to the topic of seronostics and the prospects of the development of this direction, on this slide you can see the example of the combinations of different isotopes with diagnostic and therapeutic effect. Among them, are, we can see the are iodine in particular that we already discussed in our today's lecture. Um, Betatrons, small-scale accelerating facility, which is extremely effective in some types of the radiation therapy. Look at this slide. The numbers are very bright. Uh, you see that when we have a surgery, after the surgery a cancer patient has to come through so-called after-surgery radiation therapy. Traditional after-surgery radiation therapy takes at least five weeks. After very hard physical surgery, you have to have five weeks of radiation therapy. If we use Betatron, just one minute is enough, just to compare one minute and five weeks. So this proves that the use of radiation facilities in the field of cancer treatment is a very prospective direction nowadays. One more very brilliant number at this slide is the efficiency of the treatment. It's not a secret that are even after all this very hard physically hard procedures such as surgery, radiation therapy, radiation diagnostics, there is a higher chance that the cancer can come back. If we use traditional therapy, the chance is really very high. But if we use betatron-based therapy, as you see on the slide, the number of local relapses and the number of comebacks for the cancer seriously reduced up to 18%. One more very prospective direction in the field of nuclear medicine, it is based on the use of nuclear facility, not radiation facility in comparison with the previous slide, it is neutron capture therapy. So it's not a secret that very often if a person uh, listens to the diagnosis such as brain cancer or uh, neck cancer, are in nine, more than 90 percent such type of cancer is a fatal because we can't use traditional surgery and we can't use traditional radiation therapy surgery. Why? Are especially if a tumor locates very deep in the brain to reach this tumor you have to have damage healthy substances of the brain. You know that brain is a very sensitive substance and if you, you damage even one millimeter of this substance the negative consequences for the body are extremely higher. If we use neutron capture therapy, we can kill only a tumor without damaging healthy, healthy substances of the brain, health, healthy parts of the brain substance. So here on the slide you can see the description of this type of the therapy in detail and I can say that at our nuclear research facility we successfully developed this technology and we are doing piloting or testing procedures with the cats and the dogs with very promising results. So, to sum up, or if you want to get the training in the field of nuclear medicine, and I hope that or in our lecture you heard that it is very prospective direction nowadays, you can go to our educational programs. We have language based pro uh, Russian language-based programs, English language-based programs, and among them, as you see at the master level, there is a program uh, which is named Nuclear Medicine. The training of the program is based at the facilities, all the facilities that I told you today about in the presentation. So thank you very much and welcome to our university.